All right, welcome back. So, um, well, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is a problem about um, A, B to the K, I guess. So it's like you're, you're given a dictionary of words in, um, why can't we just use one and zero? Okay, what did you say in B? And you want to put them in a grid such that um, every row and every column contains a word. And the problem is, um, how many words do you need to guarantee this is possible? Uh, so k equals one is dumb, just one. Uh, just one word is fine. For k equals two, it's like a Okay, so. I guess the thing about this AA word, right, is like if AA is in the dictionary, you're just fine. Like you just write AA and that's all you need to do. Um, if AB is in the dictionary, you probably need more than one word. Um, if you put AB, but like. All right, so. So min D is two for K equals two. Um, yeah, I, was, I guess that's just generally like A, A, A. So, like, if you have either A or BBB, you're fine. So what are, what is this is Bodis, right? <laughs> I guess so. Um So I guess I might as well include like ABB to start. So like, how can I block a construction? I guess is what I really should be asking. So one thing I can do is if I ensure that the dictionary only consists of words that are of the form A, B, and then like stuff. That's, yeah, that, that bound is not. Then yeah, so if I if I let D equals this, um, this is like about a quarter of the possible words, um, then there's like obviously no construction because um, actually, I can probably do better than that, right? Uh, hang on, why, why did I put this second? It's just... If I take D to be the set of words that start with A other than the all A string, um, then there's no con then there's no way to fill in the grid because you know well, whatever word you put in the top row has like a B somewhere in it, and then that thing will require um, you know if all your words start with A, you can't fill it in. So you can always get at least. Um, if we, yeah, so if we let D be words starting with A other than all A's, then the task is obviously impossible. <laughs> no A. So this is two of the K minus one words. And then the question is, okay, so, um, 
I guess for K equals 1 and 2, that's actually best possible. For K, at least 3. What happens? Can I... I feel like this construction still doesn't feel that good. I don't know. Thank you, Alpilandu, for the follow. You, you guys think it's 3 to K minus 1? If you have... Ha hmm. Oh yeah, two the K minus sorry, yeah, two the K minus one minus one. Um Yeah, I had this thought where like if you Well, okay, I actually, I, I want to know what the answer is for K plus 3, though. Like, if I have four words, is that... If I have four words, is that always enough? Does it work if D is a hyperplane in F2 to the N? What is a hyper... Like, like let's say you take the set of things for which the number of A's is even or odd. Or oh, just the kernel of some matrix. Um... If you have two pairs of oh oh the opposites will do it oh god damn it um oh, opposites is just good enough wait okay opposites means that you if I have both a a b and b a a oh come on okay yeah yes opposites is fine. Um, yeah, opposites will just work because your grid looks like. Oh, let me make them more lopsided. Um, you, you do some dumb thing like this. And then the way you get the bounce slightly better is if you have either all A or all B are also fine. Actually, no. Um, yeah, no, no yeah, this is fine. Yeah, all right. All right, good job, team. I didn't, okay, the opposite, the opposite thing is. Hmm, yeah, I guess that works. Is that not done? How's that not done? If, because if you have, um, oh wait, shit, did I fuck up? No, you can't have both. You can't have either all A or all B. So that's how you improve the bound by one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, okay, like... 
In hindsight, that makes sense because our construction is literally like for every opposite. I took the one that started with A because it was easier to think about. Um, I okay, yeah. So, okay, fine. <laughs> All right, fine. Answer. So, the all words that start with a other than the all a string. There can't be any construction because um, the first row would contain a b, but no words in start with b. It's math. Oh, fuck. Uh, right, math BB. I've never seen math BBD used like this on a contest, I gotta say. <laughs> so if D contains either A, the all A, or our B string, we're done. Otherwise, consider the two of the K. Ha, by pairing. So pair the remaining two of the K minus two possible strings into two to the K minus one minus one pairs. where we pair two strings if they have no common letters. E.g. A, B, B, A. Um, how do I, i.e. they are opposites. Because, um, D at least it follows it contains if they have no overlapping well, overlapping letters in the same place A pair of such opposites in it these opposites then it's possible to fill the grid with just those two words. G A B B A, -A gives the grid. Um, A B B A A. The opposite construction is pretty cute. I have to. I'll give it that. Okay, that's cute. Um, cool. I 
The answer line should have. Oh shit. Uh, yes, that's correct. I'll, I'll fix that in just a moment. Um. I don't. I don't actually know what to tag this. Parody. That's just not really parody. Uh, whatever. It's fine. It's a kind of global. Global with like a lot of asterisks. I think the equality case motivates the construction a lot. Because it's like, like, like there's a good reason why you can't obviously improve the construction, which is that, you know, it's just half the time 